everybody it is um, Friday August 30th it's 5 57 a.m. I got an offer from Uber Eats to go to uh, Starbucks and I uh, get seven dollars and six cents for 3.6 miles everything went fine at the dentist yesterday they put in the temporary crown and it cost about a thousand dollars but without if I didn't have insurance it would have been almost two thousand dollars so insurance really does help to keep the price under control I know a lot of people they, they go into these dentist places and they have absolutely no insurance and they just pay cash for their dental services and they're paying way too much money because these uh, insurance companies they get like set special rates with the um, dentist offices because you know they have some sort of relationship of some sort so it always pays off to have dental insurance but don't get the cheap dental insurance you got to get the really good dental insurance that it, that pays 50 percent of the cost of any type of normal things that you would have done and of course there are stipulations on most insurance plans where you have to have it for at least a year before the major benefits kick in when you first get it they really just cover the the cleanings and x-rays because they know how people are that they'll get the insurance do a procedure and then cancel the insurance and so to avoid that they make you go through this whole waiting period for any type of major work so you've got to get the insurance while you're healthy and then that's when it kicks in so yeah the um the crown's in the temporary's in and then they're gonna wait like three weeks to make sure that the crown is um working out fine and that there's no severe pain and if there is severe pain then i would need a root canal but so far i'm not having any pain at all so i think i caught it in time in a quarter mile turn right on pebble road using the right lane turn left Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Now you're welcome. Great, thank you. Thank you. Be safe. Thank you. The order in the car uh, headed to a house six minutes from here, 1.5 miles. Turn left on Pebble Road, then turn left on North Green Valley Parkway. And it's going to be a, a leave at the door. Schedule the appointment for my dog's dental cleaning. And that's going to be... Oh, when is it? I think it's not for a couple of weeks. Because uh, Monday is Labor Day. And most doctors and stuff, you know, they, they take like the whole week off or whatever. So I think it's going to be either two weeks... Yeah, I think it's going to... Yeah, it's going to be two weeks from now. Somewhere somewhere in September and I just got to remember uh, not to give the dog food after 10 and no water after midnight and then I'll be good and uh, yeah and then they'll, they'll go ahead and uh, get his teeth all looked at and hopefully everything's fine but you know dogs I'm pretty sure there's gonna there's probably gonna be some teeth pulling and you know like fine stuff but <laughs> I'm gonna hope for the best. All right, I think it's gonna be this first right coming up. Turn right on Privilege Court, then drop off. Probably gonna be another slow day like yesterday because of the uh, what is it, Labor Day? The Labor Day weekend. <laughs> because of the Labor Day weekend, people usually don't spend money until uh, starting Saturday. So usually it's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday are the big spending days because everyone's just sort of, you know, they're saving up their money 
for those days because those are the days where they're really celebrating that they you know, that they have a long three-day weekend and so most people usually at this particular point are um you know they're too busy trying to catch up with work and you know and they're not in a spending mood just yet so I think that happened last year and that tends to always happen whenever we're just about to go into some sort of you know long period of holidays okay we got the next one in from DoorDash it's nine dollars and fifty cents for four miles and we're headed off to Starbucks time is uh, 6 37 a.m. and uh, I wasn't at home that long waiting for this one to come in so Maybe it's a good sign that things are gonna pick up. Maybe there'll be a lot of people needing some shopping done so they can stock up for their long weekend. With Load it all up and we're headed off to a house. Seven minutes from here, two miles. And it is going to be a leave at the door. I have to go to Sam's Club today. And uh, somewhere between probably 8 and 9 a.m. I'm going to be heading over there. I've got to get a few things that I saw that were really good deals. Um, what was it? Oh, I have to get like some uh, chocolate chips. <laughs> chocolate chips for my granola bars. And then... I wanted to get some olive oil or avocado oil for the uh, homemade mayonnaise that I'm going to start making so that that way I'm not consuming a lot of unhealthy fats and I think there was something oh and I need to get a jar of honey so yep so I'll be heading over there probably in a little, little over an hour okay we're in one of these uh, fancy gated communities with all the wasteful water fountains that they have Rich people love to show off that they can waste water <laughs> when we're in the middle of a drought. <laughs> oh God, that's the one thing I noticed. They always have tons of green, real green grass and water features. Like, uh, and then they, they say that they're trying to protect the environment. <laughs> I guess they feel like they can afford it like they'll be the last ones to say that they can't afford to pay for whatever it costs for water look at all these pretty trees holy cow you would never know we were in vegas if you looked at this neighborhood oh look they got a cyber truck too la ti da oh, a little more forward the customer requested you leave the order at their door they added the following instructions. Leave at my door. The customer that had that fancy house that I just dropped off at they increased the amount of money and significantly it went from I think it was like nine dollars and fifty cents to uh, seventeen dollars so I was like whoa <laughs> I've never been to that house so maybe they're generous all the time or they or they they rarely ever use the app so that sometimes people that rarely use the apps can be the most generous next one coming in from DoorDash $18.34 for 12 miles I've got to go to Vons and shop for three items and then I've got to go to the coffee class All right. well it looks like it's going to be just a pickup it's not going to be any shopping so I'm going to grab a cart and then I'm going to head on over to the pickup the pickup spot where you just get the groceries from the um, employee at Vons and then I just head over back to my car and load it up.
pickup went just fine. I got it right away. And uh, there was hardly any items. It was a, uh, you saw it was like a, some kind of birthday cake and a couple of other things, but nothing, nothing too major. So next up, we're gonna go to the coffee class and um, yeah, that should just be in a couple minutes. So much for it being a slow day. I think with these two deliver the last three deliveries, I think I'm getting close to forty dollars, and then that's only means I only have to make about twenty more dollars to get to my sixty dollar goal for the day. Um, I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to do catch up for the for yesterday, you know, to make up for the lost revenue from uh, yesterday being so slow. I averaged it out on my calculator, and it turned out that. For the next three days, I would have to make an extra $13, but it's no big deal. I mean, <laughs> I'll just go with the flow, see what happens. God, it was such a long wait to get that um, order from Coffee Class. Uh, it was fun to see their their pastries. They have the they have the prettiest looking pastries of any place I've seen, but they are so slow, and I don't know why they can't make the drink in advance. But whatever. So next up, we're gonna drop off the Coffee Class order. Uh, 11 minutes from here 3.6 miles it's a house and it's a hand it to recipient I made it through the guard gate and I think I have one more gate to go till I can finally drop off so they had a new guard at the gate she was real friendly real chitty chatty so that was kind of different because the the other guy that's the regular here, he's the opposite. He makes very little conversation. He doesn't even say hi. <laughs> he just grabs your stuff and gets you through. All right, here comes the next gate. So I gotta get out and push the button. Thought I did something wrong at first. It wasn't going through. All right, we're in. Wow, this customer is all the way to the back of this neighborhood. I don't know how I feel about this neighborhood. I mean, part of the time when I look at it, it looks really fancy. And then there's other aspects to it where I feel like it looks run down. I'm not exactly sure why that, maybe just because it's an older community. It's been here a long time since the 90s, so maybe that's why. And I'm always used to these places that are just recently built. They're gonna be tearing out more grass. You see where the grass is all like taped off? They're not they're not watering it anymore. They're gonna have to just pull it out and I guess put rock there instead. And it's gonna be the very last house. This, this road just dead ends. It's 82 degrees right now. So it's like the perfect weather where everybody's out and about. All right, it's gonna loop around this circle here and then we'll be dropping off. Hand it to recipient. Yeah, I got it. Don't they yell at me. I went to the customer's door and the, they have this real fancy gate that was locked. I went to the app to contact them so I, you know, so I could hand it to them. And they had no way to text message them, only call them. So I called them. It rang and it rang and it rang. And then they finally answered. 
And then I told them, you know, I'm here. And uh, they said, oh, just leave it at the door. <laughs> I'm like, thanks for wasting my time. So this looks like I'm going to be set up with one of these um, nursing home room situations where there's probably somebody who's bedridden who wants me to go into their house, you know, and set it inside. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It's either going to reek of cigarettes or it's going to smell like urine or it's going to smell like number two. <laughs> Oh, God. Either way, it's all bad. So it's very difficult to know, you know, how to how to get a workaround to deal with that kind of situation. Um, I know if I know if for a lot of female delivery drivers, what they do is they just don't do it. They just set it by the door and leave. But I always feel kind of bad for these people who are in these situations. And, you know, a lot of times they don't, they're not even the ones who order the, the, um, the stuff. It's some relative or loved one that is, um, you know, feels bad. So they send them something through the, through the app. I'm trying to think if I've ever been to this place before. I don't think I have. I can't even, I can't think of any senior living facility that is in this particular location and i don't think it's a hotel the person's instructions say that i have to bring it before 8 p.m so that tells me it's some type of security controlled building that you only have access with between certain hours and after that they lock it up tight so that sounds like one of these kind of you know skilled nursing facilities or um, senior living places I have to reorganize those groceries uh, so that way I can carry them in two with two hands a lot of times these places when you use the flatbed cart it just creates more headaches so I guess once I get get there I'm gonna go into the trunk and just rearrange everything and because I got that cake. That's what, that's what the hard thing is. I don't want to smash, smash their cake. Oh, yep. It's some type of senior living place. Let me try to figure out. I have never been here. This is going to be interesting. I see a... Okay, I see a circular driveway. I'm just going to have to park... Let's see, physician parking. Hand it to recipient. Yeah, yeah. They added the following instructions. Yeah, yeah. Customer instructions. Morning. Hello. Oh man, Uber Eats, seven dollars and seven cents, six point one miles. No. Oh man, that was a long walk. Ooh, that hospital was big. $7.64, 15.2 miles now. That place was humongous. I was walking and walking and walking and at the very, very end was the room of the customer. And of course, I was exactly right. They were bedridden. And uh, they had me set the cake uh, on her side table and she was shocked how big the cake was. 
she was expecting it to be half of that size so she was a little bit uh <laughs> surprised but you know i'm like well that's what they gave me and um then her other groceries i just set on the floor uber eats six dollars seven point three miles no yeah i put the rest of her groceries on the gr on the floor and the only thing i forgot is i forgot to close her her uh privacy curtain when i left but you know i'm sure people are always coming and going and there was nobody else in that room with her i think she had that whole room to herself um there was like another bed in there but nobody was using it uh uber eats nine dollars and three cents 13.8 miles no that place must be so expensive because you know how you can tell when a when a care facility is expensive is if it doesn't stink <laughs> And this particular one didn't stink. I mean, of course it had old people smell, but it didn't stink. So that tells me that that place is um, expensive. <laughs> Cause um, I've been to some in Vegas for um, relatives and that are not so, you know, that are not so rosy as I should, I should put it that way. Da or should I say downright depressing. Next up uh, is something from Uber Eats. We're going to get uh, $9.05 shopping at Sprouts. Nine, uh, <laughs> we're shopping for uh, 12 items and driving 4.5 miles. I got, um, uh, I, got a, uh, uh, I got an appointment today with the dentist at noon. Uh, my crown came off, <laughs> my temporary crown came off that they just put on yesterday, so I've got to go back in. They said I don't really have to, but it's just procedure to go back in and have it re-cemented, so I'll be there at noon. Well, we're going to be shopping for some uh, ultra pads with wings, some tampons, some lotion, some cold brew coffee, lemon, Creamer, cucumber, mint, red onion, garlic, uh, fresh dill package, and Chobani plain Greek yogurt. it's all done I got it all I'm checking out all right well everything worked out just fine in the store I was able to strategically make my way through the store going counterclockwise and everything flowed very smoothly without any problems so now I'm on my way to a house 3.3 miles from here an eight minute drive and it's a leave at the door please don't knock In a quarter mile, keep left on Anthem Parkway using the left lane. Jesus scared me. <laughs> keep left on Anthem Parkway. In a quarter mile, turn left on Reunion Drive using the left lane. Every single time someone has to be tailgating me as I'm trying to make my, my delivery. Drop off on the left. Never fails. Never fails. Every darn time. Oh good, they finally turned.
one up is from DoorDash, $8.50, 3.4 miles, going to Great Harvest. the order in the car and we're going to be going seven minutes from here three miles leave at my door it's a house please ring the bell and i have a gate code and a thank you back home before this delivery and i brushed my teeth i flossed i did all that good stuff so that way there will be no chance of any type of um infection when they remove the crown and then they you know and they put it back on a lot of people don't think about that, but when you go into the, den into the dentist office, they don't completely sanitize your mouth. And if they're doing work <clears throat> that is in some way exposing the root or there's a risk of the root being exposed to your um, tooth, you can get bacteria that will make its way into the root and destroy it. And once you have an infected um, root, you can't uninfect it. Thank you for having the gate open for me. I'm going to follow you. I bet you anything you're going exactly where I'm going. Every time. It never fails when I'm delivering. The car in front of me or behind me is going to the exact same place. Not sometimes, just about every single time. Okay, it's going to be on the right. Is it this house? No. Is it? Oh, this is it. Their door. This is it. Additional instructions are provided in the Dasher app. It's funny, the man that I delivered to came rushing out to wave to me. <laughs> that was kind of funny. It's like, well, why didn't you put in the instructions that you wanted it handed to you? Then you could have just thanked me in person. But no, he was he put in the instructions to leave it at the door, but to ring the doorbell. But once I rang the doorbell, he just came rushing out to wave at me to say thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's a crazy world. Next one is coming from Uber Eats. $16.47 to shop at Target for five items. Driving 3.9 miles. But we are shopping for candles. Uh, Cuisinart. Five speed hand mixer. A birthday banner. Yellow cake. Betty Crocker. And Betty Crocker. Rich and creamy chocolate frosting. Happy birthday, whoever you are. I got it all and nothing was too difficult except for the hand mixer which they didn't have so they got a substitute checking out got everything loaded in the car and now we're off to a apartment with a doorman secured building 2.1 miles from here six minute drive hi leave at the door 
When you get to the building, walk through the front door at the intercom, press the delivery button, enter the code, and let yourself in. Thank you. That's it for the day. I uh, ran out of time and uh, I did hit the $60 goal, I believe, but I did not hit the goal for the additional $13, so it's no big deal. I'm just glad I at least hit the $60 one for today. And uh, I think the day in general was fine except for the fact that my crown came off and threw everything out of whack because I would definitely just still keep going because you know I feel fine like I want to just keep working but I've got my appointment now to get this crown repaired this temporary re-glued on so I have to go take care of that because that's a that's a high priority uh, issue so I better take care of it and um, I don't think anything bad happened today there was no real dramatic moments that I can think of off the top of my head so all in all, I think it was a successful day and um, it's a great start to the Labor Day weekend. So I hope you all have a fantastic holiday weekend. And if you have time, check out my video tomorrow on Saturday where I'll be back again to do a little bit more shopping. All right. Take care. Bye for now.